Hi folks, Sharon Bill here again. I'm continuing to look into the construction of the minor scale patterns. I've already mentioned about the natural minor, the most basic minor scale form. If you're not sure about that, just click back to the tutorial on the YouTube video and get up to speed so you feel comfortable with all concepts of the minor scale. Now I want to look at the harmonic minor scale. Again, just like all of the minor scale forms, which are harmonic minor, melodic minor and natural minor, all of these three scales all share a key signature. They're paired with a minor and major key signature. A minor is sharing a key signature with C major, or we would say A minor is related to C major, and so it has a key signature of nothing, no sharps or flats. However, there's a second step to add into this now with the harmonic minor scale. So step one is you have your shared key signature, in this case a key signature of C major, no sharps or flats. And then we have a second process to add into it where we have to raise the seventh note of the scale. And so if we count up seven notes from A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the key signature tells us that there are no sharps or flats, but then as an accidental, the seventh note we have to raise to a sharp, and so we have G sharps throughout as an accidental. And so A harmonic minor will have a G sharp added, and so it sounds like this. Creates a really pretty sort of Indian snake charmer sound. And that's because from six to seven is a massive step in terms of musical harmony because we're going a full tone plus another semitone. If you're not sure about the terminology of tones and semitones, just check back to my previous video. There's a tutorial explaining tones and semitones very simply. And so here we have actually a tone plus a semitone within that minor scale to give us that lovely effect. All scales are made up of tones and semitones and you could work out the harmonic minor scale mechanically by just adding together this series of tones and semitones. So the harmonic minor is tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, then we have tone and a half finishing with a semitone. So you could construct the harmonic minor scale by just counting out that series of tones and semitones. However, I think it's easy to understand if you can get behind the theory of it and grasp that it's the key signature of the related key plus the raised seventh. Just those two simple steps and that's it, you've got it. There's loads more for us to learn. We're gonna look at all the different scale patterns. So if you like and subscribe, so you're sure not to miss anything, share it with your musical friends, and uh, let's keep learning. See you next time, bye.